Hello Capricorn. Welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed. Uh, so let's jump into your reading. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Capricorn, please. Regarding their connection. What's going on in your connection between you and this other person. As always, Capricorn, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching 100%. Uh, please take what resonates, what applies to you. Uh, if it does not resonate at all for whatever reason, check out your playlist. It'll be linked in the description box. I have a playlist just for Capricorn. Tell me more about what's going on in this connection. Sir, between Capricorn and this person. Ah, oh, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. In this particular deck, this is the Gregory Scott Tarot. The Knight of Swords always looks like they are berating some poor person. Some of you could have had a verbal conflict with this other person. I feel like there's a bit of a distance between you here with this Five of Pentacles, especially in this deck. They look kind of like they're outside looking in. So let's see. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles to me, um, it's kind of a card about need. There's something that you don't have that you need. So it could be that, you know, you're missing each other or at least one of you is missing the other person nine of wands or you could have created some sort of barrier between you and another person ace of wands interesting these are two very different energies the nine of wands ace of wands or at least i see them differently because the ace of wands is kind of like a card about going after something starting an adventure doing something that you're passionate about creative and then the nine of wands is more like a reserved energy they're more interested in protecting themselves guarding themselves although it doesn't look it in this particular deck this person looks very happy but uh, the nine of wands is not really a card about that so the nine of wands is a card about struggle hardship and not giving up um, being through like having been gone through a lot but still kind of hanging in there i also interpret that card as like trust issues because someone's wary defensive guarded can i get one more about this five of pentacles sorry about the noise in the background that's my dog the sun interesting is it's almost like I don't know. I, I'm getting this this energy of someone that wants this to work or wants to start something new despite the difficulty. What's this Knight of Swords about? Knight of Swords is, you know, the truth that could be a bit blunt. That's why it can cause some problems. Two of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Seven of Swords. Hmm. This has to do with communication. I have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. I have the Knight of Swords here. With the Seven of Swords and Temperance, it's like someone's trying to make something happen here maybe be strategic um because the temperance card is about blending two very different things together in harmony being patient doing things in moderation you know taking your time being balanced and you know i have it here with the seven of swords and the two of swords now with the two of swords and seven of swords there could be something here that you're not aware of capricorn or maybe someone hid from you this is very compli complicated. 
tell me if this is resonating for you Capricorn because I feel like it's this very specific message it's almost like there's a, a tug of war in this connection a lot has happened here. What's with the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords? It could be that someone doesn't know what to do with this information. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. This could have been you and this person could have been in a commitment of some sort. Or someone stepping out on a commitment. I, I mean, I hope not. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles, yikes. So someone here could already be in a commitment of some sort. These two cards together to me are like someone's married or in a long-term commitment or, you know, they're the head of a family or something like that. Maybe you weren't aware that someone already was in a commitment or maybe you found out something. And now that you found out something, I don't know, it's, it's difficult for you but I still have the Ace of Wands and the Sun here. So it's almost like there's still a possibility for something new. Let's see how you feel about each other. What's going on between you two? Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to have you on this side, your person on the other. But feel free to flip the energies. If they resonate more. All right, Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's energy and this connection. What's going on with Capricorn? How are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. So this is kind of like the six of wands. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with or thinking about. What are their energies at this time? Time out, timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. Okay, can I get one more for them? Well, that's two. Okay, so we have mirrored souls. It's kind of like my soulmate card. And then reach out. Somebody needing to send a message here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to use my um, rainbow deck as well for this person. Can I get one more for Capricorn's person? get one more for Capricorn's person please what can you tell us about this other person's energies successful accomplished and stable that's that king of Pentacles bottom of the deck open inviting and expressive I feel like this person wants to tell you something um, talk to you in some way here because I have two cards here about communication Okay, I'm going to use a deck for each of you, so each of you gets your own deck. I'll start with you, Capricorn. Let's see how you're thinking, feeling in this connection. Tell me about Capricorn, Spirit. Tell me about Capricorn. You have the Victory Lap card. King of Cups. I feel like you still care about this person. I think you still picture success in this connection. Tell me if I'm right about that in the comments. I feel like you're doing very well for yourself. Maybe you are just as successful. I'm also thinking you're free, independent, maybe single here. King of Swords. Maybe you have something to say as well. Tell me about this King of Swords. What's this King of Swords about? It could also be that even though you have a lot of feelings for someone, you're kind of not showing it. Tell me about this King of Swords. Ten of Cups. Five of Swords. I feel like, yeah, it's almost like you want to address whatever has happened here because I do feel like maybe this is a third party situation or a situation where the person that you are interested in interested in there was conflict there perhaps due to another situation that they might have had
for others of you, I'm picking up like, even though there has been conflict here, it's like you're still waiting for this to, to have a happy ending here. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Have the three of swords and the seven of cups. Yeah, I feel like you've been hurt, um, but you're not showing it. I, I, I don't see you. It's almost like you're still trying to figure out your options here. Just, you know, despite whatever has happened in this connection, you're not going to let your feelings show, I feel. There's the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I think there's a lot of love here. You have the King of Cups, Ace of Cups. There's also a little bit of doubt with the Seven of Cups. I mean, the Seven of Coins, sorry. It could be that this person is the one talking to you with the King of Swords. Because I feel like they're definitely the ones that want to reach out here. Maybe you're trying to decide if this is worth it, if all of this is worth it. If you should continue to put your feelings into this or, or your heart into this, you know, because I feel like you've been hurt. You might even be confused by, by this person's actions or what's happening. Can I get one more, please, for Capricorn? have the five of cups and the knight of swords so there's the knight of swords again i feel like there's definitely a message coming in um i have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck it could be a disappointing message here a message that is related to the past um a message that perhaps i don't know has something to do with how you feel maybe the message is about this third party situation because I do have the devil and the three of cups there you are by the way showing up to your own reading but when I see these two things these two energies together I'm thinking there's something off in a group so it could be a third party situation here now a third party does not have to be another person another lover it could be a parent a friend a co-worker it could be fear finances long distance it's just anything that interferes in the connection. I feel like there's definitely something that interferes in this connection. And for a lot of you, I do think it's commitment related. Like someone could already have another commitment, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be that, you know? All right, so let's see what is your person, what's going on with your person? What deck do I wanna use for them? This one. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person that Capricorn is dealing with? What are their energies? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Okay, we have the Five of Cups and the Knight of Wands. What else can you tell me about this person? The Ten of Swords, yeah, okay. And the Ace of Wands, yeah, there could be the ones that want this new beginning because I feel like something, they've betrayed someone or they've had some sort of an ending in their life. There are regrets here with the Five of Cups but it's like they still want to do something here with the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. To me, I feel it's reaching out here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Wow, Ten of Cups. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Justice, yeah, so I feel like they might want to address this, make something right. Libra energy here with Justice. Um, you know, have a happy ending here. Be happy. They could have, you know, and I feel like you had a reading recently, Capricorn, where 
someone ruined a good thing and I feel like this could be a continuation of that reading um, check out your playlist if you want to check that reading out oh what I just dropped so many cards I don't hang on I want to look at this ten of swords Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What happened here? Nine of Pentacles. Interesting, you have the Nine of Pentacles and you have the Five of Cups and you have the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're connected here. Ten of Wands. I feel like they, if they hurt you. And I think you'd maybe try to protect yourself here. Guard yourself from this person um, because it was too much. Like whatever they did or whatever the situation is, it's too much. Four of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. I cannot shuffle this deck for my life. Not sure why. <laughs> It's a tiny deck too, so I shouldn't have any issues shuffling it, but I am. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Wow, Two of Cups, yeah. So I feel like they want they want their soulmate back. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, something ended between you. With this Ten of Swords, this Death card, Something ended and I feel like it was something I feel like something came out this Sun I'm thinking something came to the light here bottom of the deck I have temperance um, and I feel like this person is trying to deal with this now like maybe maybe this was a mistake and something came out or you realize something about this connection and I feel like maybe there is distance now because this person is trying to reach out here trying to um, make things right with justice. Tell me about this person that Capricorn's dealing with. Tell me about this person. What are they thinking or feeling? I'm struggling. Yeah, I feel like something happened where you're no, no longer um, giving to this connection. Tell me if I'm right about that in the comments because I think this person is trying to like pick up the pieces here. I'm taking a risk. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. That could be this Knight of Wands here. I think reaching out is a risk. We have the Chariot, the Temperance card. So where is all of this headed? Let's see, where is all of this headed? Because I feel like this is a very complicated situation and I think it's even more complicated with the fact that um, maybe this isn't really in either of your control. So if this is a third party situation, for example, it's not one that can just disappear on its own. That's what I'm picking up. Um, I feel like there would need to be a huge change in this connection for things to really move forward here. All right, Spirit, tell me what is happening next for this connection between Capricorn and this other person. I'm not gonna I'm gonna pick a couple of cards here for the near future energy. Page of Wands. Yeah, someone's definitely reaching out here. Near future energies, please, Spirit. Three of Wands and the Lovers. Wow, Gemini energy. And with the Three of Wands and Temperance um, and the Time Out card that I have here, timing, um, I feel like this is someone that has waited to reach out um, or has held back because to them it would be a risk to um, approach this situation or 
approach you. I feel like with the lovers, um, it's almost like this is what they want. Like they want to maybe communicate about you, talk about you, your connection, where it's all headed. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Pentacles, balancing things out, making things right again. You know, I feel like they they want to apologize, but I don't see that right now in their energy. Like I don't see actually any cups here other than the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups. But they're not like cups about like necessarily feelings, emotions. It's more action on their end with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Whereas for you, I felt like you had a lot of emotions here. You had the Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, you know, Confusion, Doubt, the Three of Swords, um, King of Cups, you know. I feel like you had a bit more of an emotional reaction or, or, or you're really thinking about this. You're trying to be strong. You're trying to appear like this isn't getting to you. Um, and you're trying to maybe focus on yourself. But there's so much disappointment here. So I feel like that has kind of kept someone from just jumping right in and, and confessing and apologizing. I feel like they're going to try to reach out with, you know, let's let's do something about this with the Page of Wands. Um, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, or leaving me a comment and saying hello. Uh, I appreciate anyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me kind comments. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you so much to anyone that does that. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.